for me. Baby. <laughs> Baby. No, in mommy's tummy. <laughs> yeah, okay, don't. Okay. Okay, over and out. Jermaine, please try to unbump. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs>The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS, and save lives. So, um, we are currently on our way to Queen's Hospital because I've been experiencing a few symptoms that kind of suggest an ectopic pregnancy. Um, it's definitely not symptoms to be ignored and so I called 111 and they basically said that uh, they have booked an appointment for me to go to the hospital just to get it checked out. So, they did say that it wasn't alarming or that it at first they did say that it was manageable at home especially during this uh, COVID-19 business um, but then he actually called me back which I really appreciated and he said you know I spoke to my colleague and because you've explained the shoulder tip pain and pelvic pain and all that kind of stuff um, we think it's just best that you rule it out and go get yourself checked so I actually appreciated that um, and that's why we are in the car now. So Jermaine is driving me there now. Um, and I will update you as to what the results were. I'm pretty nervous, to be totally honest. I, th I have, str I do struggle with my um, like emotions and putting stuff at the back of my mind. Like it, stuff can affect the whole of my day. That's just how I am. Um, so I have struggled to kind of, I don't know, not think about it too much. Um, so I am a bit nervous because I, I I got to a point where I was really excited for this pregnancy, as I'm sure you were as well. Um, so it is, it will be pretty sad if it is an ectopic pregnancy. But the plus side of this, which I said to Jermaine earlier, is that I have identified it now um, if it is that, and that means that it can be stopped in its tracks before it gets any worse because it can be quite detrimental to the mum um, or to me if, if it goes any further because uh, at the moment I'm only five weeks so that is the plus side and that is what I have to keep thinking about I suppose but um, yeah I'll keep you guys updated um, and we'll see what happens after the appointment so we've been sent to um, a ward it is so quiet here because there's like no visitors NHS is on there. So, and none of the hand sanitizers are. So, we're looking for yeah. calls by what it is. So, we got kicked out because there's not allowed to be any children under 18. So, me and Jaden are out here waiting for mummy who's through there. And, yeah, we just got our hope for the best. Jaden, should you say a prayer? Should you say a prayer for mummy? Um, okay. So, we've been waiting a few hours now. Um, outside the room um, apparently she's next but um, yeah just waiting patiently so not much we can do for now I'm very hungry Jade is sleepy we're ready to go so um, I just had an examination uh, it's quite a grumpy doctor actually but he examined me which is quite intrusive as anything is when it comes to pregnancy. I remember that when I was pregnant with Jada. Um, and yeah, he, he said it indicates that there's no sign of ectopic, which is amazing. So yeah, I get to go home and he's booked me in for a scan in 12 days when I'm six weeks pregnant. So I'm relieved. I am currently on my way to Queen's Hospital because um, after my internal examination that the doctor had to do, um, he said that he wanted to book in an, an emergency scan as well. So at that point, I was only five weeks, so I was too early for anything to be picked up. Um, now I'm nearly seven weeks, 
and so uh yeah that is what i'm going in for now i am so nervous but also i guess there's a bit of anticipation there just to know for sure so even though his internal examination kind of didn't suggest that anything was wrong um this scan will be the tell really the real the real um tell as to whether it is ectopic or not so back to being nervous again after that internal examination i was feeling pretty good because he was like you know it does, indicates that <clears throat> everything's fine however i won't know until this morning for sure um and to be honest it's been 12 days since then and i a part of me hasn't really been able to settle um and i've been quite open in my communication with jermaine about that because it's, it, it is easy to kind of just internally um deal with those emotions but I have learned that doing that does not help <laughs> with me in particular um, and so I have told him that I've been unsettled since the internal check uh, regardless of what he said just because I don't fully know until this scan um, so that's what's happening today uh, I will probably not be able to record in there but I will get a recording of some sort uh, maybe audio um, and let you guys know what happens So I am just leaving Queen's Hospital now. What a whirlwind of emotions. So it's not ectopic. They have said, however, that I am, so you can either come up plus two or minus two weeks from your ovulation date. Um, so I, I was coming up as less than, so two weeks minus two where I thought I was in my pregnancy. So I'm not actually six weeks, four days. I'm coming up as five weeks um so it's not quite two weeks but yes um which she said can happen based on measurements and stuff and she could see a sack um so she said you're definitely pregnant however i'm too early to pick up an actual baby so they couldn't see um an actual baby in the sack which of course at first I made me a bit worried but she said it's because I'm coming up uh, less weeks than what I thought I was which they wouldn't be able to pick up a pregnancy at that point anyway so there's a bit of comfort in that at first I was a bit like oh I came for a result I got the result however like mm, I've been told something else but when I told Jermaine he was like yeah but we found out that it's like topic is true which is why it's good to talk because I would have just still sat in my sorrows and just wallowed but there's nothing to wallow about it's too early to pick up um or to see an actual baby they can still see a sack they can still see I'm actually pregnant but I just came up a bit um I came up as a fewer weeks than I thought I was and that's it is what it is so I've been rescheduled for another scan in two weeks time um, she said it's too early to say whether it's going to be failed or successful pregnancy. I believe it will be successful and um, that is what Jermaine and I will choose to believe um, and we'll wait until we're told otherwise but yeah I, I am in fact pregnant and the baby is in the right place so yeah I'll keep you updated. Are we doing welcome to you or whatever? Welcome back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Living with the Lynches. We've got something a little different for you today. So we have made the two week mark and I'm going in for my second emergency scan um, because obviously I explained in the first, um, in the video prior that they couldn't see any baby because I was coming up as earlier than what I thought so I was five weeks so now I'm seven weeks um should be seven weeks and they should be able to pick up a heartbeat as well as see um a baby or embryo I think they are at this stage um so 
yeah, we've we've chosen to believe that we are pregnant um, until told otherwise, and so I believe I am. Um, I've still been experiencing symptoms, so that's a good sign. Um, there's still a bit of nerves there. I think just naturally, because I was told last time I couldn't see a baby, and now's now's the day to confirm if there is a baby. <laughs> so naturally, there are a few nerves there. However, um, it's all good, you know. Um, I have the support that I need. Um, regardless of the news um, and I'm yeah that's all I can say so I'll keep you guys updated um, and tell you what happened peace um, <clears throat> so I wanted to keep you guys updated so I wanted to <clears throat> keep vlog of my journey uh, with this pregnancy, my second pregnancy. Um, so from my last video, I was on my way to the hospital to see if they could see a baby after my first emergency scan. So this was my second emergency scan. Um, and they saw the gestational sac and the yolk sac, but still no baby. Um, and so she had to say, <clears throat> uh, sorry. I just remember obviously dreading hearing that sat on the table like laid down on the table thinking that's the one thing I don't want to hear during this appointment and and she said it and I just remembered feeling I had no I felt I had no feeling at first I was numb I think that's the best way to describe how I was feeling I, I it took a while to sink in um, and then eventually just tears started <laughs> rolling down my face and you know she just kept saying you know I, I am sorry uh, but this is looking like a miscarriage and so yeah <sighs> it ended in a miscarriage at eight weeks so um, she sat me down and uh, she said there's one of two things that you can do um one you can take medication to help um aid this miscarriage if you like or um help bring it about or second option let nature take its course um and just naturally miscarry and <clears throat> instantly i didn't feel at peace with taking any medication so i decided to wait the two weeks so she said um if you wait the two weeks she said we will scan you again one thing she said to me is that the gestational sac that the baby usually grows in uh, was obviously still visible but it, it had also grown from my last scan so she said that's that's odd because obviously there was no baby in my first emergency scan and still no baby in my second emergency scan however the sac has continued to grow i obviously asked can that still happen she said yes it can however she she would feel more comfortable to scan in another two weeks just in case um, so I said fine obviously I didn't want to I didn't want to raise my hopes like obviously she has to say the right thing um, in our appointment so she's still having to I guess say you know this this is looking like a miscarriage however in the same breath she's saying but the gestational sac has continued to grow so I would feel more comfortable scanning you just to see um, <clears throat> and she's actually said as well that um, she said if you were my daughter and I knew that you got presented those two options I would feel comfortable with my daughter taking the scan as well instead of um, or waiting the two weeks rather instead of taking the medication so she said I think you're doing the right the right thing uh, so I took peace in that um, and yeah, today is the day after. I've had cramping, um, which I didn't have before, um, and a few symptoms have subsided. So I can only take that as it is a, you know, it being a miscarriage, like she said. Um, my husband and I did decide, uh, as we are Christians, we decided to walk in faith. Um, just to see what happens as I've already been told the worst thing that could happen and so there's no harm in acting in faith and believing for some sort of miracle um, 
that's not to say I'm saying there is a baby in my tummy and I will not believe anything otherwise. I am still accepting the facts that I'm told, but I'm also going to hold on to hope and going to believe for a miracle. So that's what we've chosen to do as a family um, until told otherwise. Um, so that is where we're at at the moment. I am feeling a lot of anxiety. Um, I'm up and down. Moments where I'm in tears, moments where I'm not. Um, having a child during this is hard as well. Uh, absolute blessing, of course. You know, yesterday, in the thick of it, when I was told the facts, you know, she kept wiping my tears with her muslin, um, which is really cute. She's really, really sensitive and sweet. But at the same time, obviously, I don't want to completely break down in front of her just to protect her. You know, I know children already feel emotions and they, f they can sense when something's wrong. I didn't want to add to that. Um, and so that part of it is hard. Um, but my support system, aka my husband, Jermaine, is absolutely amazing. And I couldn't ask for anyone better to be going through this with um, because he's been amazing. <laughs> the only thing I can say is he's just said the right thing at the right time, been my support, um, you know, letting me choose what we're going to do. Are we going to just take what she's told me or are we going to walk in faith in this and just say, you know, whatever I'm comfortable with, he, he goes along with it and I am grateful for that. So I still um, am at peace in a way, which is weird, but I couldn't have done this without the Lord neither. So there is a sense of peace still in our home, in my heart, and we can just try again. If it is a miscarriage, um, that's all we can do. So yeah, I will continue to keep you updated. I've got another two weeks to wait. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is what's happening at the moment. Now turn around, turn around, turn around, go back, go back. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around. So we are at Queen's Hospital, Alicia's just gone in for a scan, um, which is, is, this is the moment of truth if you like, um, to see if, if there is finally any, any heartbeat. Um, and you know, we're trusting and, and believing that, that there is, um, we believe for a miracle, um, but also we're prepared that if it isn't, if there isn't the heartbeat, that, you know, it's still fine and God will carry us through, so we're praying and believing and trusting. Jada, are you okay? Good girl. So, uh, that's where we're at. See how it goes. So just to give you an update, I was waiting those two weeks and I reached those two weeks um, and had the scan on Thursday, which is last Thursday now. Um, and they confirmed that there was no baby in the sack and the sack was actually starting to deteriorate. So it was confirmation of a miscarriage, unfortunately. Um, during those two weeks, we had decided as a couple to take what we've been told that it might be a miscarriage but also um we decided to have faith in 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 those two weeks as well or or just rest in the fact that you know his will will be done god's will will be done um and also allow us to have at least a glimpse of hope which i think i i definitely didn't want to just because i i knew that it was going to be harder when i got to that um scan 
and was told that it wasn't um, a successful pregnancy. Um, but I, I did. The last four days, um, I really did try my best to to believe in a miracle or ask for a miracle. Um, and unfortunately, it wasn't our time to be pregnant. Um, and it's taken a lot to process it. I think both of us have had different experiences in, in processing it, um, of course, because it's always going to be be different um but the actual the actual miscarriage wasn't pretty um i had to take uh two two lots of medication so on the first day that i had that scan they gave me a pill and then on the saturday that same week uh, they finished the process and it was quite a few pills that i had to take um and it was horrendous it is the honest truth that weekend um just gone was not nice it was very painful um, and I just didn't expect how much um, blood I was going to lose and how much pain I was going to be in, um, fainting as well. Um, it was awful. But things are getting a lot better now. Um, we are approaching a week after um, they gave me all that medication. And yeah, I think uh, we, we're not ready, but we're, we're kind of going back to our original plan to start trying again soon. Um, and this was just part of our journey. Questions, no answers, no answers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>